Hi everybody, Omar Kazarski here, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions, www.bauerwebsolutions.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new page for your site, talk about disabling comments for that particular page, as well as adding that newly created page to your site's navigation menu. So as before, here's our demo site, and right now we just have navigation for home about and a blog section. I want to add a new page for services and have that new page appear within this menu. So the first thing I need to do as always if I'm not logged in already is to log into the site. I'll go ahead and log in and I need to create a new page so I can either a go to the pages section and then from underneath the pages section here in the left hand column click on add new or once I'm in the pages section click on this add new button here to the right of the page's headline, or if I go to the very top of the dark gray bar with a little plus sign that says new, I can add a page here. All right, so it's three different ways of doing the same thing. I'm just going to click on uh, the add new page button here, and we need to create a title for this, so I'll call this services as the title, and I'll give some basic text here for now. Uh, we here at Acme provide many different services. All right, I think that's good enough for now. I want to publish this, and now we're going to view the page. And you'll notice that here is our services page, but you'll notice here that this particular page has this comment section. And in my professional opinion, you really just want to reserve the ability to comment on information posted on your site. Uh, we really want to try to limit that to posts only. Pages are really not time sensitive news articles nor really trying to invoke any sort of conversation. Um, they should really just kind of stand on their own. So how can we disable the commenting just for this particular page? Well, I'm going to go back and edit this page here. And what you need to do first off is make sure that your uh, we need to disable the commenting feature on this page within this page's discussion section. So the first thing you need to do is I mentioned this in a few videos prior, but in the top right hand corner there's this little gray tab that says screen options. I click on that and you want to make sure that discussions is clicked on. That's important. Make sure discussions is clicked on then we can collapse that screen options tab again. So now you'll notice that when we scroll down underneath your main area there's a section here that says discussion. And here within this discussion section, you want to click off the checkbox that says allow comments. So it will disable commenting for this particular page. All right. But still keep it on all the other posts and whatnot within your site that currently do have it. So this at allow comments choice here will override any global settings that your site might have in regards to comments. So if I update this and I view the page, we should now see that the comment section there is gone from this page. But we still have this problem of the services page itself is not within this menu. Meaning, if I was starting from home, here's home, here's about, here's blog, I see no mention of that services page within the navigation. So, um, these days when you add a page within a WordPress site, it doesn't automatically update it to your menu in most cases. Um, most WordPress sites these days take advantage of their menuing feature, which is what we're going to talk about right now. So if I go back to my dashboard, in this area here in appearance, there's this section called menus. And you'll probably already have one menu set up here or you might have multiple ones set up so we need to make sure that we're editing the right one in this particular case our site only has one primary menu one menu called main here so there's no danger of us editing the wrong one here but just mentioning it just for those that 
or editing WordPress sites that may have multiple menus. You might have one menu up on the top and a different one on the bottom for your footer. Just make sure you're editing the right one. So how do I add content to my menu here? Well, here on the left-hand side, I can look for a page based on the most recent or view them all or search for a particular one. Since I just created it, I'll use this tab here that says Create Recent. Oh, there's the services page. I'm going to click on it and add it to the menu. So I click on it and add it to the menu. And by default, it's added to the bottom of the list here. So if that's where you want it, great. Your job is done. You just need to hit Save. But if you needed it to be in a different position, maybe you wanted it to be after about I'm just going to drag services up and right underneath about so now if I save this by hitting the save menu button there on the right hand side that blue button and if I view the site we should now see that we have home we have about we have services now and blog and if I click on services there we go all right now let's say instead you wanted maybe just to have an about a home link and an about link and you wanted the other links of services and blogs to be a sub menu or drop that menu from about how do we do that same thing through menu so I can either go back to the dashboard and appearances and menus or I can go right to menus right from here so to create drop down menus once they're added to the menu structure here list it's just a matter of how you position them so if I wanted services to be a subsection or a drop down of about, I just drag it to the right. You see how it's indented. Same thing with blogs. You know, I can also do a submenu of a submenu if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep them both under the same level here. So you see how services and blogs are indented underneath about and they're noted here as submenu. That's it. I'll hit Save Menu, I'll view the site. Now you notice I only have two navigational links, Home and About, but when I hover over About, there's my services, there's my blogs. Okay, so it's very easy to edit your navigation. I'm going to go back here to the menu, because I think, given the fact we only have four pages, I think it's probably best that these are not... Um, Submenu. So I'll just simply drag them in position so they're no longer indented. I can save the menu and if I visit the site. There you go. All right. So hope this gives you a little overview of how to add a page to your site, making sure that the comment is turned off, and then adding it to your main navigation. All right. So once again, my name is Omar. And you can contact us for more information about WordPress sites at www.bowerwebsolutions.com.